Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Jurassic Park Podcast YouTube channel. I am Brad Jost, the host of the Jurassic Park Podcast, and today we're going to be looking at some of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trading cards. Actually, just says Jurassic World on there, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, obviously branded towards Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. You've got the similar uh, packaging that you've seen on the Mattel items with like the, the crate and all that and the lava flow background and all that. And of course, blue here. So let's see. Look for authentic costume cards. I have no idea what that means. What does that mean? Costume cards. I don't know. Trading cards, seven cards per pack, ages five and up. So we got a few things on the back here, JurassicWorld.com, showing off the trademarks for that and Universal, Bullseye Toys, a division of Excel Brands. Trading cards, seven cards per pack, 39 film scene cards, 15 dino cards, uh, nine glow in the dark cards, nine heat and reveal cards, nine 3D action cards, seven costume cards, uh, 80, 88 cards in the set to collect. Let's dive in. All right, so what do we got? Ooh, this is fancy. This is some fancy stuff. That's cool. It's not changing, there we go. That's awesome. That is so cool. My gosh, I love that. And you know what? I mean, that logo looks real good, first off. That looks great. And then this Pteranodon looks stellar. I love that. That looks fantastic. It looks so realistic. My God, I love it. And you get the volcano blowing up in the background as well. That's really cool. So let's see what else um, comes with these cards, because I don't know anything about these things. So we got the 3D action dino card, number six of nine. Angle the card back and forth to see both images. So we got that point across by flipping it around. So that's, that is so cool. I love that. It's so retro, so nostalgic for, you know, old trading cards and such. That's awesome. What is this? Ooh, is that a Stiggy head or a Pachycephalosaurus? What is this? Heat and reveal card, three of nine. Apply sunlight or pressure to reveal the change. Well, I don't think there's any sun in here, but let's see what pressure does. I don't know if this is, I'm putting pressure on it. Nothing's happening. <laughs> oh, wait, there is something happening. Stiggy Moloch, look at, I don't know if you can see it. But you can see it's sort of starting to say Stiggy Moloch down there. <laughs> I'm putting a ton of pressure on it, trying to bring it out. But yeah, there's a lot of script in there. And usually these things just give you a description of the dinosaur, like the weight, the height, all that kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. Next up, oh, I love this Benjamin Lockwood. That's pretty awesome. So retro. I love this. You know, I haven't had trading cards in so long. Man, this feels good. This feels good because I used to go to you know, the trading card store or the baseball card store all the time, pick up movie cards, whether it was Jurassic Park or the Rocketeer. I remember at Adam's Family, uh, Back to the Future, all kinds of stuff. And this is so retro. I wish there was a little bit more on the back. That's kind of not as fun. Film card, 22 of 39. And it's always like the same image on the back of just blue with the uh, volcano erupting. You know, this would have been perfect if, if it had a picture of a Benjamin Lockwood doesn't say anything in the corner. I thought it maybe did. But you had this picture here, but then on the back it was like, Benjamin Lockwood, renowned blah, 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 you know, has a lot of money in a big mansion, friends with John Hammond. That would have been kind of nice, but uh, we don't have that here. So we do have a very nice image of John, uh, not John, uh, you know what I mean, <laughs> Benjamin Lockwood. Next up, we have Star-Lord. I mean, um, Andy Dwyer. Uh, 
Owen Grady. Uh, we have Owen Grady here, so um, that's cool. That's a good shot. It looks like it's from the bar. That's a nice little nothing to it. But on the back, I would expect it to be like Owen Grady, Navy man, Na not Navajo or whatever it's <laughs> He said in the movie, um, film card number 11 of 39. So that's nice. That's a nice little card there. Owen Grady again. This time in his Jason Bourne style uh, scene here. I think it was there around that. Was this? Uh, this might be a little bit after that when he's. Um, the, you can see in the background, you can see the um, uh, Triceratops y looking skull back there. And he's in the museum area, so they're kind of hunting down the Indoraptor. This is film card number 32 of 39. You also have... Interesting. This is interesting. It's like very photoshopped, but um, you got the Stegosaurus. It's a nice little pose. I kind of like it. It's a little... Everything's a little convenient looking, like the gyrosphere in the back. That is a gyrosphere, right? I guess it is, it just looks a little strange. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about here. We got the pronunciation, steg o -saurus. Battle facts, Stegosaurus is armed with a set of four three foot long spikes and this herbivore is able to swing them with enough speed to pierce through muscle right into bone. Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus meaning roofed lizard. So again, this is number 13 of 15. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of information on the back. I like that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But everything looks super Photoshopped on that. So that's not one of my favorite ones, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes the uh, the old cards that looked a little Photoshoppy and fake and different from the versions you saw in the movies as well. So next up we have here an Ankylosaurus. It's pretty cool. Again, it's kind of like that Photoshoppy style which is not bad. I'm okay with it actually, because I'm remembering like, there was a shot, um, I think it was a uh, Triceratops, very unique looking and stuff like that from the original movie, I think. And uh, I remember it kind of had that photo Photoshop-y weird element to it, just like this. All right, pack number two, Jurassic World logo, right? Stiggy, oh my God, this is my favorite new thing ever, Stiggy. Wow, that is fantastic. I love you, Stiggy. You are fantastic. The best. So cool. So there's that. It doesn't have anything. This is 3D action dino card number seven of nine. Ooh, what is this? Is this another one of those pressure ones? No, this is a film. Ooh, this is fancy. This is a film card, it said. This is kind of, I don't know if you can, you can't really get it on. It's a little raised. It's very glossy. Um, but it actually, you can like feel this, that you can feel the dinosaur standing out, which is really cool. Nothing else stands out, but just the dinosaur itself. So this is, oh, this is a glow in the dark uh, card. I didn't read that at all correctly. Oh, you know what? There was a card underneath that stuck to it. Let the card sit in direct light to charge before it can fully glow. That's really cool. I like that a lot, actually. That feels nice. It looks nice. I mean, it's, it's kind of got that Photoshopped look as the other ones do, but um, I like how it's raised. Oh, you can sort of see it there. Yeah, look at that. Look how raised it is. That's cool. So here's the film card, <laughs> number 17 of 39. There we go. That's a cool like deleted outtake uh, scene that we don't have in the movie. You see Wheatley, um, Owen, Zia, who else is back there? I don't know, some random guy. Probably one of the uh, mercenaries, but then you can see on the uh, right-hand side here, you have the uh, like decomposing Stegosaurus giant like prop that they had on set that they filmed, but didn't include in the movie. So there's that, but man, that's a cool card. I've seen th this picture before, so that's nice. Oh, repeat, boo. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at that, that is amazing. Inside the dioramas that were at the uh, Lockwood Mansion, you have the Dilophosaurus there. That is so cool with Owen in the background. That's fantastic. I didn't even know this existed, this picture. That is so good. Film card 28 of 39. I think like these cards are worth it for stuff like this alone. That is so, so, so good. My God, that's awesome. 
Next up, we have the Mosasaurus. That's a nice little image. I kind of like it. It's kind of big, goofy looking, silly, like it's kind of smiling at the camera. But I love it. It's so good, so highly detailed. That's fantastic. I can't, I can't uh, get enough of this like render of the thing. Even though it looks a little goofy, I kind of love it. It's a giant head. And we do have some facts and stuff on here, which is nice for the Mosasaurus. Length, 85 feet. Weight, 84,000 pounds. Height, we don't know, who knows? Battle facts. The teeth of the Mosasaurus aren't good for slicing, but they're excellent for gripping and ripping victims into bite-sized chunks. Horrifying, horrifying. Dino card number 12 of 15. There's a Mosasaurus, very good. And then, boo, another duplicate. Again, of Owen. We've got a, got a lot of Owen so far. Where's the Claire? Where's the Zia? Come on, we got Zia in the background of that one, but we got um, many Owens. All right, from our third pack, we actually have another one of these. I don't know if these come in every one or not, but Triceratops. That's cool. I like it, I like it. Number five of nine, so that's cool. Ooh, we got another glow-in-the-dark card here. Woo! Mosasaurus, another glow in the dark, kind of raised, bumpy. You can sort, oh, there you go. It's good with the lights on there. You can see how raised it is. That's cool. Glow in the dark card, number one of nine. So we'll have to let these glow and uh, I'll get back to you guys on how they, um, how they look. Any guesses on what character is in this next card? Number 36 of 39. Owen, again. Hey, Owen, what's up? More, 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 more Owen. Can't get enough, right? Let's get some other people. <laughs> How about we get some other characters in here? Next up, oh, another duplicate. Come on, with the Owens. My gosh, we need some more different characters here. Next up, we got a Gallimimus. That's a cool picture. I like that. It looks good. You got the broken down gyrospheres on either side and the misty mountains of Isla Nublar. The back actually has the facts on here. Pronunciation, Gallimimus, uh, length 19.6 feet. Weight 10,000 pounds on these guys, jeez. Personality traits, gregarious and shy. Oh, these guys are shy? Oh, it's okay, bud. All right, here we go, just when I said we need some more human characters. We get Zia, thank you so much. It's about time, Zia. Showing some love here for Zia with the with blue in the foreground. Zia in the back there, you know, just doing some tests on blue. Got number 20 of 39 for the film cards. Zia Rodriguez, absolutely love her character. That's fantastic. And lastly here for this pack, which I will make the last card of this video. We have a bunch more packs. I'm gonna kind of spread them out so they're not a super, super long video, but we do have another human, Dr. Wu. Thankfully, another human character to wrap out this set here. Looking at the Indominus Rex bone in the container, the one that they salvaged from the beginning of the movie. There it is, nice shot there. Number 25 of 39. I love this, this is fun, this is great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more of these cards, I will be opening more of them soon. We have a bunch more packs to go through. Hopefully we don't have too many more duplicates, but I'm sure you'll find out along with me. So go to JurassicParkPodcast.com, find our articles, our episodes, everything else going on over there. Head to iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, download the Jurassic Park Podcast, leave reviews where you can. Make sure to go to Twitter at Jurassic Park Pod. We're at Jurassic Park Podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. Follow everything that's going on. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you get every one of our videos. Like, subscribe, share these posts around, comment below. Which one of these cards is your favorite? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.